Hi, for this um, lesson we're actually going to start by scanning in a pencil sketch from a notepad and bring it into Photoshop and basically tidy it up. Once we've done that, we'll then take it over into Illustrator and we're going to use Image Trace and Colouring Up options in there to convert it into a final Illustrator file which we can then print off. So to start with, what we're going to do is go into Photoshop and under File, we're going to choose Import, and the scanner we have attached to this computer is called the Canon Scan Liddy 110. When it opens up the um, controls for that particular scanner, basically a few things just to watch out for. Sometimes scanners open up in their basic mode, which just gives you a range of default settings just to ease the uh, process, but it doesn't necessarily give you everything that we would want. So uh, we're going to use the advanced mode. And then we're just going to check our settings before we do an initial preview scan. So we've got color scanning, which is fine. It's scanning in at 300 dpi, and it's scanning in at 100%, which is what we're after. So we'll click on preview, and the scanner will go through the initial preview scan just to show us where the object is on the glass. The illustration that we're um, scanning in here is by Lewis Fraser, who's currently a student on the BA Communication Design course at Gray School of Art. So thank you to him for um, offering uh, this image. Once we've got the initial uh, image on the glass, what we're going to do is make a selection of the area. We don't want to scan in the whole image, so I'm just going to make a selection over the picture that I need. And then make some decisions about the final outcome or for this file. Now this original image is just on a small notepad so it's a little bit smaller than a standard postcard. So I think I'll scan it in at twice the size, so I'm going to make it 200%. And if I scan it in at 300 dpi, that'll give me the best quality possible. Although we're finally uh, going to convert this in Photoshop at the next stage to black and white, I'm actually going to leave its color for now just so I have a master scan of this file at large scale, which I can actually reuse at a later point if I decide to do something else with it, and it'll just save me coming back and rescanning the whole process again. Once I've got all of that, I'm kind of ready to click on Scan. It's worth mentioning with scanners, if it's not an original drawing and you may be bringing something in from a magazine or a printed book, um, you should also turn on the D-Screen option at that point. Most um, commercially printed booklets obviously have a dot pattern, and if we scan in the dot pattern, basically it's converting it into a second dot pattern. And basically those two dot uh, levels can actually clash with each other and create what's called a Mori pattern. Now it's not always obvious when you're actually working in files, but sometimes when you actually print them out, you'll see there's circular swirls in the flat areas of your pictures, and that's because the two dot patterns are clashing. So a de-screen option will actually turn off or uh, use a filter to basically smooth out the initial uh, dot pattern of the printed original and give you the best quality outcome for your images. As I say for this file, this is an original drawing so we don't need to worry about that so we're ready to just go forward to the final part of the scan. Once the scanning process is actually complete, um, as I was saying I want to hold on to this as a master file so what we're going to do is the file will open up in Photoshop and we're just going to immediately save that as a Photoshop PSD file just so we have a master which we can then start the next part of the video training from after this stage. So our file should open up here and once we have it on screen I'm just going to choose file, save as and we'll just give it a name. So I'm going to save this to our desktop and I'm going to call it man save it as a Photoshop file, and save from there. At this point we're now ready to move on to the next stage which is clean up the file, and that's covered in our next video.